What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Before we get into it, I came to the gym today and I totally forgot to bring my hair stuff. So this is what my hair is gonna look like. <laughs> With that out of the way, let's just jump straight into the topic of today's video. So this is something that I've I've kind of talked about in, in other videos, but I've been getting quite a few messages about this. And I've, I figured it was time to kind of just focus on this in a video. So today I wanted to talk about why I think that it can be really detrimental if you're always focusing just on how little calories you can eat to lose weight. Now, the reason this came to my mind was I was messaging someone that was asking me about, you know, how many calories they should eat. They actually said that they went to a TDEE calculator, which if you're not familiar with what that is, I'll link a video down in the description that will explain. It's basically a way to find out how many calories your body is burning in a day. And then from there, you can kind of decide how many calories you want to eat. So if your TDEE, which is your total daily energy expenditure, say it's 3000 calories and you want to lose weight, maybe drop it down to 2,500 calories, so eat 2,500 calories a day, and you should be able to lose weight with that number. Now, one thing a lot of people will notice is they think that, wow, 2,500 calories or 3,000 or whatever their number is, that seems like a lot of calories. I feel like I can eat less than that, and then in turn, I will lose weight faster. Now, obviously, that makes sense. Uh, when, when we are trying to lose weight, I think one of the things that really motivates us is seeing the progress, right, obviously. And when you see progress faster, you feel like you're going to be more motivated, so usually to see progress faster with weight loss is to eat less calories. Something that I've always said with weight loss is that it is simple, but that does not mean that it's easy. So a caloric deficit is a simple concept to understand, right? Eat less calories than you are burning and you'll lose weight. It's very simple sounding, but actually implementing it in a way that's healthy, in a way that's sustainable, in a way that you can continue for a very long period of time, that's obviously not easy because so many of us struggle with it. And so many of us get in this mindset of zero to 100. So you are eating regular diet, you're not focusing on your calories, you're not focusing on your nutrition at all, and then you're like so excited to start losing weight, you're so excited to get healthier, you're so excited to work on all this stuff that you go from zero to all in everything, you're only eating 1,000 calories, you're only eating 1,200 calories, and you're really grinding for, you know, it might even, you might even be able to grind for a year, but most people usually, it's not that long, right? So I feel like, Willpower is a finite thing that we have. So if you're just going on this sheer force of your will, on the sheer force of like, this sucks so bad, but I'm gonna grind through it. You might be able to grind through for a little bit, right? So you might be able to really cut your calories down very drastically for a while. And again, it could be up to a year, but eventually you're going to get to a point where you are sick of that grind where you are sick of feeling like you're always hungry and then people start maybe binging or just eating too many calories and their progress either slows down to a crawl or it reverses and you start gaining your weight back. Now the thing about this is I understand where people are coming from. You're coming from a good place and this is the place that I was at. You think to yourself, okay, my TDEE is 2,500 calories. That's easy. I feel like I'm eating too much food. And so you're like, okay, I'll drop it down to 2,000 calories. Oh, wow, that wasn't too bad. You're able to do that for a little bit. Okay, I'll drop it down to 1,700. And then it turns into a game of how little calories can I eat and still function throughout the day? Obviously, that's not going to happen to everyone, but I have seen that happen to so many people. It stops being, oh, this is easy. Like, this isn't even a struggle to, okay, how little amount of calories can I eat today and still function with my day-to-day -day activities. And what's so hard about it is that, of course, you see results, right? Of course, you see your weight dropping. Of course, you see that scale going down. So you are reinforced feeling like I'm doing the right thing. And on top of that, we have so many people that might be seeing you losing weight. They're saying, wow, you look so great. Wow, you're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. So you are being reinforced with this bad behavior because you, you're, you're seeing that scale go down. People are excited for you. So it's just a reason to keep going and keep trying to maybe push the envelope and maybe only eat 700 calories a day. And it really does turn into this game of how little amount of calories can I eat? 
my goal when it comes to helping people lose weight is I want people to be able to eat as much as possible and still see those results, right? Still see the scale goes down. But at the same time, like the end goal isn't to be as small as humanly possible, right? The end goal hopefully is to be as healthy as you've ever been, to feel really good. And that's not always going to mean that you're going to be very, very low. And if you're not eating enough, that isn't healthy, right? So we get caught in this, like, I need to lose weight fast. I need to lose weight as fast as I possibly can. And I want to be as small as I've ever been. And it's so easy to get caught up in that. And usually the things that lead to that are eating very, very low calories. Some people even, you know, start over exercising, doing tons and tons of cardio. You know, there's nothing wrong with cardio in moderation, but if you're doing three hours of cardio every day, again, is that sustainable in the long run? Probably not. As cheesy as this might sound, remember that slow progress is still progress. We get so caught up in seeing people lose a lot of weight in a very short amount of time. We feel like we need to do that. And so to do that, usually it means drastic measures. But understand, like if you only lost a pound in a month or you only lost two pounds in a month, that's still two pounds down that you weren't before. And like, there's no reason that you need to be down 60 pounds in the first couple weeks. Like it's, it's not necessary and usually those methods are not sustainable usually those methods are not something that you're going to be able to do for a very long period of time so there you guys go that is going to be today's video i would love to know what you think down in the comment section if you have any tips for people that might be going through this anything like that again if you want to learn how to track your tdee or figure out what that's all about i'll link that down in the description as well i think that it's a great tool especially if you are you know trying to lose weight trying to figure out how many calories that you should be eating that's a great tool again it's just a tool it's not 100% exact, but it can be helpful. And last but not least, I know a lot of you guys check it out, but if you have not watched my podcast or listened to my podcast, I would love for you to check that out. It will be linked down in the description as well, and then you can find it on any podcast platform that you like to listen to podcasts. It's called Work for Change. I do it with my brother. We have guests on. We don't have guests on. We have a lot of fun. It's about fitness, but also kind of not about fitness. It's just a really fun time. So if you do like podcasts and you would love to hear <laughs> me talk even longer, It'll be down in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Look up if I am. Ugh. Obey the warning signs. And when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.